In 2010, Haiti was struck by a devastating earthquake. The consequences were catastrophic. Over 200,000 people lost their lives and more than 300,000 were injured. Hundreds of thousands of homes and commercial buildings were damaged or ruined. And over 10 million cubic meters of debris, equivalent to 4,000 Olympic swimming pools, filled the streets. The devastation forced 2.3 million people to flee their homes. Haiti's economy ground to a halt, businesses were destroyed, and households were unable to meet basic needs. The cost to the economy was estimated at $8 billion. After the tragedy, the United Nations Development Programme was on the ground, ready to make a vital contribution to the humanitarian crisis and to Haiti's recovery with the help, funding and trust of all its partners. But given the overwhelming damage, what were UNDP's priorities to be? Giving again access to basic services was essential, so UNDP began by clearing debris from the streets. To achieve this, UNDP created more than 35,000 temporary jobs through cash for work and cash for production. 40% of these jobs went to women. It took 18 months for UNDP to clear the majority of streets of more than 1 million cubic meters of debris. Part of the debris could be recycled into paving stones in the affected neighborhoods. UNDP trained the local masons and community workers who used rubble to make roads and sidewalks. Debris collection and recycling became a door to development. In addition to its emergency response, UNDP also had a longer-term vision. It helped the government create a national rubble management strategy, which has paved the way for a national solid waste strategy currently being developed. Another UNDP objective was to rehouse internal displaced persons in their neighborhoods of origin. Families were able to buy building quality materials via a mobile money system to repair and rebuild their houses. This not only helped to stimulate small businesses, it also gave the community access to quality construction materials. Risk management has also been a priority. How to ensure that new buildings would be safer and more durable The answer was to create maps that zoned neighborhood areas according to risk level. Communities not only learned how to build back better, they also led the decision-making in the redesign of their neighborhoods. By identifying their priority needs and the rehabilitation of basic services, such as roads, canals, electricity and water. In addition, women were closely involved in the positioning of solar-powered streetlights that help reduce sexual assault. 50 camps have been closed, some of which have become public plazas, and nearly 44,000 people have been relocated. Social well-being goes hand in hand with economic opportunity, so another objective has been to encourage income-generating activities. These initiatives have led to the creation of more than 4,500 jobs. Getting women into the workforce and strengthening female-run enterprises has been a particular success story. But alongside immediate crisis management, UNDP's primary task is to strengthen national institutions. So it's been working closely with Haiti's Ministry of Commerce and Industry on creating the basis for defining public policies, strengthening value chains and supporting small enterprises. The UNDP Ministry Partnership has also identified areas of high productive potential and its methodology has become a reference for local development and private sectors. Another step toward the development path has been the MDG report. Much progress has been made with this publication, though challenges undoubtedly remain. Millennium Development Goals seek to meet these challenges in many ways. Supporting Haiti's agriculture to reduce poverty, for example, and by helping the government to develop a strategy for social assistance. Much has been learned since the earthquake,
And this knowledge is invaluable. Through innovative programs focused on debris management, durable solutions for IDPs, neighborhood rehabilitation, disaster risk management, public policy design, UNDP Haiti has contributed in helping Haiti's transition from emergency to development. And this methodology can be a legacy to the world.